dear, Dila Madre. Magandang araw po. Happy Mother's Day. So hello all, happy Mother's Day. In celebration of Spain's Mother's Day, I thought I would give a yoga class or share the yoga practice that I have been doing with my mom. This week I've had a knee injury and my mom's had an accident on her fingers. So we've had to adapt the yoga practice so that we could both do something together where we didn't need to support on our hands or our knees. So today's practice will be using the chair and we'll be standing, practicing our balance. So come join us on the chair. Feel free to put a chair against the wall. That will help when we push against the chair so you can find length. So if you can adjust your camera and the, and the chair to be against the wall, that would be better. So come into a seated position. We're both seated on the edges of our mat so that the soles of our feet are flat on the floor. Bring your feet hips width apart, your knees right on top of the ankles, relax your shoulders, and keep lifting up through your heart center. Gently close your eyes, maybe turn your palms to face up and rest the back of the wrist onto the thighs. We're going to stay here and breathe. And exhale. Breathe six breaths. If you're familiar with Ujjayi Pranayama breath, try and use that breath now and hold and use that throughout the practice. For those of you unfamiliar with Ujjayi, I'll explain it. You need to puff up your chest, squeeze in the abdomen, and exhale, slight constriction in the throat for that hissing sound that you feel and create at the back of the throat will bring a calming effect across the body. Five, inhale. Expand, fill up. Exhale, letting your shoulders continuously drop six, but keep holding your spine from your heart, and exhale, well done, gently release your eyelids, looking forward, focusing your eyes on one spot in the room, on the next inhale, reach your arms wide and up, join your palms together and look up, and on the exhale, cactus your arms, bend the elbows and bring them down shoulder level, so when we cactus our arms, we want them to be 90 degrees and our forearms vertical. Let's practice that again. Inhale, reach up, join the palms together, lengthen, use your fingertips to rise up. Exhale, bend the elbows into a cactus and hold it there. Last one, inhale, repeat, reach it up, lengthen and lift. And then exhale, we're gonna stay in this cactus. From here, I just want you to practice moving your pelvis back and forth. So keep your arms in the cactus and inhale, puff up your chest, push it forward and push your elbows backwards, squeezing your shoulder blades, creating an arch in your spine. And then exhale, slightly round and come back to neutral. Inhale, puff up the chest, almost falling towards your pubic bone, you arch, pulling your tailbone backwards. Exhale, slightly round, come back to neutral. Again, inhale, last one, arch back, but this time you're going to give yourself a hug, exhale, right arm on top, grab both shoulders, rounding your spine here, really tuck in the tailbone, dropping your forehead, inhale, come back into the cactus, open your heart, look up slightly, and then exhale, left arm over the right, grab both shoulders. Let's do a total of four, inhale, reach your arms into cactus, puff up, maybe you can lean back even more, exhale, round, right arm over left. Third, inhale, reach up, open your heart, exhale, left side. Inhale, open up, puff up, exhale, right. Okay, last one, inhale, puff up. And we do left, exhale. Well done. Come back into the cactus. You should be feeling your shoulders now. 
and now we can relax. Exhale, fall forward. Bring all the weight of your chest on top of the thighs. Now droop your arms to the floor and hang your head. You can have your palms facing up if that feels comfortable, resting your knuckles if they reach the floor. Rest here. You should feel a nice pull on your lower back. Allow your head to be heavy. And allow your spine to curve naturally. You should feel some support through your legs. If you need more space for the abdomen, feel free to widen the feet so you can find that space so you can fall forward. If not, maybe you need to adjust even the feet closer so you feel you have some support up to you. Let's stay here for three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Really letting go. One more. Okay, we enjoy this round roundness of the spine. Shift back into your sitting bones, pushing the feet and start to curl up vertebra by vertebra. Aligning your lower back, middle back, shoulders, and slowly looking forward. Well done. We're back into our seated position. So from here, we're just going to come into some gentle twists. We're going to droop forward back into this variation of child's pose by dropping our hands down. But I want you to extend both arms forward. Good. So you're on the fingertips of both hands, both fingers. And then you're going to bring your left hand on top of your left knee. So now you have some resistance pushing down with the left hand. Now look forward at your right hand, lengthening the chin and chest. And inhale, reach your right arm up, follow it with your eyes, come up, reach it round behind you, look back. And exhale, drop the arm down, look at the floor, and continue, repeat. Inhale, sweep it forward, up, push with your left hand, reach it back, a slight twist. And exhale, droop down, dropping your chest completely, and slide. Inhale, last one. Good, and on the exhale, let's droop down and stay there. Inhale, change hands. So right hand rests onto the right knee and left arm extends forward. Look forward with chin and chest lifted. And let's get ready. Push with the feet and right hand. Inhale, come up with a left, turn, twist, and exhale, roll down. Inhale, drawing a big circle. Follow with your eyes, your gaze staying focused. Third and last one, inhale. And on the exhale, again, you droop down. Stay there. Inhale, hands dropping, head relaxed. And then we push down with the heels, sitting back and rolling up vertebra by vertebra, aligning your lower back, middle back, lifting the chest, the chin, and coming into that neutral spine. Well done. So from here, we're actually going to stand up. So keep facing the front and stand up with your feet still hips width apart. We're going to do a gentle vinyasa, but taking out chaturangas, up dogs and down dogs. We're just going to stay standing. So inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fall forward. So you can slightly bend the knees if you need to. Otherwise, you can also grab a block. If not, just let yourself hang. Be careful of your lower back, not to round it too much. You want to find length. So let's first come into ragdoll. Grab your elbows or forearms and really bend into the knees until your stomach kisses the thighs. Now hang your head and let your head drop between the shoulders. Feel the control of this balance of your feet now. You might feel a little bit unstable. Feel free to widen your stance, separating the feet even further. Otherwise, stay here and see if you can sway from side to side. Notice the pull on your lower back. Enjoy the sway and what it does to your body. Do one more like this, swaying from side to side. And on the next exhale, I want you to stay in the center. Keep hanging your head and start to pulse up and down, just a little bounce. 
You're almost rocking yourself front and back. Allowing your elbows and forearms to hang lower and lower each time you swing. Really letting go of any tensions in your neck. You can always stay bending into the knees. Make sure you're feeling good in the body. One more. On the exhale, release. Okay, we're going to come into a flat back. So flat back you can do many ways. You can come onto a block or you can bring your hands onto the shins. Inhale, push the shins back, lengthen chin and chest away from the legs. And then exhale, fall forward again. Inhale, with a flat back, stand up. Reach your arms wide in a T and come up. Join your palms together. Interlock the fingers, reverse the thumbs. And exhale, push the hips forward and slightly arch back. Inhale, straighten, join the palms in a prayer and reach up. And exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Okay, drop your hands down and repeat. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back, push your shins or the floor, lengthen chin and chest. And exhale, fall forward again. Inhale, flat back, lengthen and stand up. Push the floor with the feet and reach up. Interlock the fingers. Exhale, reverse the thumbs. Push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes and open the ribs. No crunch in the lower back. Inhale, straighten, join the palms together and lift up. Exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Well done, drop the hands. Inhale, third round, reach up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, stand up with a flat back. Reach up, stand tall. Interlock, reverse the thumbs. Exhale, arch back, open your ribs. Inhale, straighten, join the palms together and look up. Exhale, hands in a prayer in your heart center. Well done. Let's just stay here. Calming down the heart if you feel it's racing. Coming back to your breath, if that's running away from you, and come back to your ujjayi breath. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Okay. We're going to come to a more challenging part of the vinyasa sequence and we're actually going to sit in a chair so i'm going to take you into utkatasana so make sure that when you lift up into utkatasana and sit back down that the chair is not too far away from you so you don't fall back so bring your heels closer to the chair so that your, your shins are slightly at an angle so your knees are on top of the toes good from there you're going to reach your arms up and try and get the biceps reaching back either side of your ears. You don't want the arms to stay here. Maybe they're here, but bring all your intention on pulling those arms back without pulling your chin forward. Keep your spine neutral and your neck long. Hold it here. Lengthen by pushing your thighs and sitting bones down. Pull up the stomach and then exhale, lean forward. Inhale, hold it here without leaning too forward, but bringing all the weight into your toes, can you lift your butt off the seat? And you hold this now for three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Last one. And on the exhale, stand up, push the floor. Inhale, lengthen your arms, look up. And exhale, fall forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach your arms up, interlock. And exhale, reverse the thumbs and arch back a little bit more. Inhale, straighten. And come back into your chair. Sit without touching the chair. We're floating. We hold it for three. And slowly, we make our way to sit back down on the chair. Two, don't be scared. It's right underneath you. Exhale. Last one, go deep. You're almost one millimeter off the chair and now sit down. Well done. Inhale, arms up and rest your hands onto the chair on the corners. You're going to reach your right leg up. 
try and flex the foot and then cross it so your flexed ankle is on top of the left knee. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your hands into a prayer at your heart center. Exhale. Really push your hands into one another. Keep your wrists at the level of your elbows and then twist over to the right. Make sure both sitting bones are on the chair and you're really using your core to find a deep twist. Two more, in. Maybe even look past your right shoulder. One more, in. Good, hold this twist and then drop your elbow towards the left knee or thigh. Stay in the twist. If you, find that, if you don't find the connection, don't worry. You can stay, keep your neck long. Good. One more. Good, and exhale, release, come back to center. Drop each hand onto the leg, so right on top of the knee, left on top of the ankle. Maybe you need to pull that ankle up a bit. Keep the foot flexed, this will protect your ankle and keep that knee at a safe activation. From there, I want you to hold both and pull your chest forward. So like we did in the beginning of practice, we tried to find that nice back bend and arch. So here we're pulling chin and chest upwards and then exhale, open the elbows to the side without rounding the spine. Stay nice and flat, almost curved and try and press forward. So you'll feel a very intense stretch now on your right hip, creeping up into your thigh and into your glute. So if you have the flexibility, go ahead and completely fall forward. If not, focus on a straight spine and just lengthening, feeling the stretch. We hold it, three more. Exhale. One more. And exhale, release, super. Extend the right leg out in a flex, hold it. And exhale, bend the knee, place the foot back down. We come into Utkatasana, reach your arms up. And exhale, lean slightly forward. Weight into the toes and push up, inhale. Come into your Utkatasana and hold. Try and look up with your eyes into the eyebrows, three. Exhale, two. Biceps next to the ears, exhale. Last one, inhale, and on the exhale, stand tall. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, push the floor or the shins, and exhale, forward fold again. Now we stand up, inhale, reach up. Interlock the fingers above your head, reverse the thumbs, and exhale, squeeze the glutes, and push the hips forward as you arch back. Inhale, straighten, join the palms together and lift up. And now separate your hands, shoulder width apart, come back to Utkatasana. We're going to sit down onto the chair, so don't be scared to really sit. Three, good, bend deeper, sit back. Two, bend deeper, come to sit on the chair almost. One, and sit down, go, 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 well done. Inhale, reach up, and drop your hands onto the corner of the chair. Flex your left foot forward, inhale, stay with the breath. Exhale, cross the ankle over the right knee. Keep it flexed. Inhale, bring your arms up. Join the palms and exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Inhale, twist over to the left. Use your core to hold the twist. Try and keep your hands at the center of your chest. So instead of moving the hands, you want to keep it at the center and move your shoulders and torso. Two more. Exhale, one more, and on the exhale, try and drop your elbow or pull your elbow towards the thigh. If you don't connect, that's okay. You're leaning forward now, keeping your neck long, and if you do make it to touch, try and resist the knee and twist even deeper. We have one more, inhale, push. And on the exhale, release, well done. Rest both hands onto the leg, so left on the knee and right hand onto the ankle. Make sure your ankle is just resting nicely with the heel on top of the top of the thigh. And inhale, almost come into your back bend by puffing up the chest, chin and chest lift, breathe, and exhale, open the elbows and lean forward. You can really add pressure into your left hand. So you either stay there or keep leaning forward if you want to intensify the stretch without rounding your spine. 
hold it there for three. Exhale, really stretch the hip. Two. Exhale. One. And on the exhale, release. Hands on the corner of the chair, extend your left leg straight, flexed, and exhale, drop the foot down. Well done. We stay seated, breathing, catching our breath. And exhale, lean forward, and we're gonna stand up. Inhale, stand up. And now we're going to come into a little standing sequence. No balances. Inhale, we're gonna reach our arms up, but we're gonna hold it in a Y shape. So really stay here for three breaths in this Y, spreading your fingertips up and lengthening your spine. You almost push down through the balls of your feet to lengthen your heart, your ribs, and your side body. Stay with the breath, two more. Exhale. Maybe give a slight squeeze in the glutes, one more. So you can feel your abdomen engage and exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand. I want you to pull the wrist up, inhale, lift and lengthen. And now push your hips over to the left and pull your arm over to the right. So make sure your right hand is really pulling for three. Showing your neck nice and long, exhale. Two, inhale, keep your belly engaged. Exhale, try and show your neck. Three, inhale, last one. Push down with both feet and stand up into your Y. Inhale, open up the Y. And now exhale, grab your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, first we stay straight, pulling the wrist upwards. And then exhale, push the hips to the right and pull the arm over to the left. Hold it for three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three, last one. On the exhale, release, come back to center, come back to the Y. Maybe your shoulders are trembling, that's normal, we're finding strength. And exhale, bend your left elbow and drop your hand behind your neck, trying to reach down for your heart, behind your heart. Now with your right hand, you grab the elbow and pull it behind your neck, behind your head. Maybe your chin drops for a bit to create space. As you pull the elbow behind your head, start to lift your eyes, lift your chin, and lift the eyes up into the eyebrows. This will help put pressure onto the elbow and intensify the stretch. From there, keep pulling with your right hand and move over to the right, pushing your hips to the left. If that's too much, you can always stay in the center and enjoy the stretch there. Otherwise, join us over to the right. Two more, inhale, exhale. Push down with the feet so you still find length throughout your vertebra and exhale, release. Release the arms into the Y, inhale, and bend the right elbow, right hand behind your neck, reaching down towards the back of your heart. Bend the left elbow, grabbing the right, and now pull over, sorry, just, just pull it, stay in the center. Pull the elbow behind your head. Maybe you need to drop your chin down to create space, and then from there, lift the chin, lift the chest and eyes. Good. Close the ribs if your chest lifts too much. And then exhale, hips to the right, elbow to the left. Hold it for three. Exhale. If you have any pain, pain in the lower back, come back into a standing neutral position. Exhale. Last one. And on the exhale, come back up. Well done. Inhale. Back to your Y and then we'll hold it for three. Lift the shoulders, lift the fingertips. Two, breathe slowly. Feel the aching in your arms. One, inhale. And exhale, release. Well done. Maybe you need to shake it out if you're feeling any tensions. And just let your hands drop. Hold it two more. Exhale. One more. Okay, so we're going to turn around now. Let's face our chairs. And you're going to now come into the final part of the practice, which is the most challenging part because we're playing with balance, shifting the weight into each foot. But no need to be scared to fall over because we have the chair for stability. So first, come down and grab your chair, coming onto the corners of the chair with each hand. So you're really pushing down with the heel of your hand. And I want you to walk the feet back so that your shoulders or stay in a vertical line on top of the wrist and your feet walk back 
right underneath your hips. So you're almost in a tabletop-like position. I want you to understand first engagement of the shoulders. So first we're going to do the posture badly by dropping our heart down between the shoulders, almost collapsing. And then inhale, hold, and then exhale to push. So you're pushing your shoulders now up into the ceiling. I want you to stay here and feel and understand this activation. So for many poses, when we're resting the weight on our hands and wrists, you need to activate the shoulders as well. Okay, and exhale, drop down. Inhale to activate and push up. And exhale, collapse. Let's do two more. Inhale, push up. And exhale, collapse. Last one, inhale, push up, and this time stay, exhale, stay activated. Now, we're going to curl our tailbone up. You might need to bend or micro bend the knees. Lift the tailbone up, lift chin and chest, and then exhale to round. We're coming into a variation of cat-cow. Inhale, this is our cow pose. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Remember, feel free to bend the knees. Inhale, especially in this cow pose. Micro bend the knees. Pull chin and chest between the gateway of the shoulders. Exhale, round the spine, dropping the forehead towards the chest. Last one. Inhale, cow. And exhale. Okay, let's come back to that neutral spine, activating the shoulders. And we're going to... Start the sequence, the first part of the sequence, where we shift all the way into our left foot and bend the right knee. So you're going to bend the knee and start to lift the foot off the floor. Try and hug the heel into your glute and then round your spine like a cat pose and pull the, nose, uh, pull the knee to the nose. Let's see if you can hold this for three. Exhale, push. Two. Exhale. Last one. On the exhale, release. Let's quickly do the other side. Inhale, bend the left foot or the left knee. And then exhale, pull the heel up, round your spine and pull the knee to nose. Three. Exhale. Two. Squeeze it up. Exhale. Last effort, pull. And exhale, come down. Slightly micro bend both knees, sitting on back towards the heels and stand up. Inhale, reach your arms up, join the palms in prayer. And exhale, hands at your heart center. Well done. Drop your hands down by your sides. And we're going to repeat that compression sequence. And I'll add another pose. So inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Grabbing the chair. No need to move the feet. They're ready placed well. Inhale. You're going to lengthen chin and chest. Come into that flat back. And then exhale, round, knee, right knee to nose. Inhale, this time keep your right leg lifted and extend it back into the air in line with your hips. So an extension of the right leg, pull chin and chest forward again. And then exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, two more, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, lengthen. And exhale, knee to nose. Hold it. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Last one. And exhale, drop the foot down. Bend the knees slightly. Stand up. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Let's do the other side straight away. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, lean forward to grab the seat. Inhale, flat back, lengthen chin and chest. And exhale, bend the left knee into the nose, crunch. Then we come to the extension three times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. Two, lengthen. Push the chair with the heel of the hand. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hold it in for three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, last one. And on the exhale, release. Micro bend the knees. Inhale, stand up. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Well done. Good. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna add again another pose and I'll take you through it. So each time you're getting familiar with the poses and I keep adding on. So come back to Samastiti, hands by the side, and we'll begin. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. And exhale, fall forward, grabbing the corners of the seat. Inhale, flat back, chin and chest lift. Exhale, right knee to nose, crunch. Inhale, come into your extension, and I want you to stay in extension. So really focus on squaring the hips. So be careful not to open the hips. You want to rotate your inner right thigh upwards. So that basically means pointing your pinky toe down and squaring those hips. You can almost imagine squeezing the thighs in towards the midline. From there, I want you to see if you can come into a little balance by extending your left arm out to the side. And we're gonna hold it for three. Maybe you want to really extend the ball of the foot to the back of the room as well. Two more. Good, push down with your right hand and your left leg. Squeeze the left thigh, last one. And on the exhale, left hand down. Inhale, lengthen. And now flex the right foot and place it down. Micro bend the knees. Inhale, stand up. So good. Exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Other side, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, lean forward and grab the chair. Lean forward over the shoulders, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, extend the left leg back and exhale, stay in extension. Remember to rotate your left pinky toe down to the floor, curling your left inner thigh upwards. Squeeze the thighs towards the midline and activate those shoulders. Maybe even extend the ball of the foot out towards the back. And exhale, come into your little balance, reaching your right arm to the side. Hold it for three. Exhale. Keep your neck long, two. Looking down at the chair, exhale, focus the eyes. Breathe, last one. And on the exhale, right hand onto the chair, hold the extension. Inhale, flex the foot, pushing the heel. And exhale, bring your foot back down, micro bend. Inhale, stand up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, let's breathe for a bit, dropping your hands down by your side. Make sure your breath is not running away from you. You're getting used to the sequence now, so as you get used to a sequence, you gain confidence. We're gonna repeat the sequence again, and I'm gonna add another movement. So let's begin. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lean forward and bring your hands onto the chair. Inhale, flat back, lengthen chin and chest. And exhale, right knee to nose, crunch. Inhale, extend the right leg back. And then exhale, extend the left arm out. We hold just for one breath. And then exhale, left hand comes back down. This time, you're going to stay in this extension, but you're going to start to bend the left knee the standing leg. And as you bend the left knee, you're going to look back on the floor and look at your back toes slowly, as slow as you can go. Reach as far back as you can onto your tippy toes, then drop the right heel down. Stay looking forward now. Make sure your left knee is right on top of the ankle and you're holding that chair with all your strength. Inhale, reach your right arm back and draw a circle, really squeezing that left glute forward. Try and show the pelvis towards that right side, and then exhale, maybe extend the right arm over. If that becomes too much, keep it there on your side, and you hold it for two more. Exhale. One more, that's it. And now look forward, circle, and close the circle, dropping the hand back down. Now rotate your right heel up, keep leaning into that left thigh, feeling it burn, then extend your left leg straight, reaching the right leg off the floor. We're back into that extension, flex the right foot, exhale, foot down and micro bend the knees. Inhale, stand up. And exhale, hands in prayer. Maybe I'll give you a break here. Drop your hands to your side and breathe. Hard? <laughs> Let's breathe here two more. Maybe you're starting to sweat. That's good, you're challenging yourself. Nothing is too scary or out of your reach. Just take focus on your breath. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean forward and grab the chair. Lean your shoulders on top of the wrist, flat back, and then exhale, left knee to nose, crunch. 
Inhale, left leg extends back, and you hold. Exhale, right arm to the side. Inhale, find the balance, and then exhale, slowly drop the right hand back. Inhale, stay here in this extension, but this time again, we slowly bend into the right knee, drop the head and look back. Bend and slowly take a big step, as big as you can with your left toes, and then drop the left heel down. Then from here, make sure your knee is on top of the ankle. Take hold of the chair with your right hand. Drop the left hand down and back. Reach it round. Show your pelvis to the left side. Good, and reach it over your ear. So good. Hold it for three. Exhale. Stabilize with your right hand and your right glute, squeezing under. Three. Last one. Look forward at the chair. Drop your left hand down. Now you're stable. Lift your left heel. Lean forward. Push with hands and right leg to lift up. Inhale. Come into your extension. Flex the foot. And exhale. Come back. Micro bend. Inhale. Stand up. And hands in prayer. Exhale. So good. So that was the full sequence. Drop your hands by your side. Now we can enjoy this full sequence and move with the breath. So we're not going to hold any of the poses. We're just going to move fluidly and take a vinyasa. Begin. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, grabbing the chair. Shoulders over at wrists, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right leg extends back. And then exhale, left arm extends to the side. Hold the balance for one inhale. And then exhale, left hand down. Inhale, hold the extension. Bend the left knee, look back. Exhale, drop the toes and drop the heel. Inhale, circle your right arm back. Squeeze the left glute under and exhale, reach your arm over. Inhale, look at the top, at the chair and exhale, circle the hand down, lift the right heel. Inhale, launch your right leg up and exhale, flex the foot and land it softly. Bend the knees. Inhale, stand up. And we're back. Exhale, hands in prayer. Continue to the other side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lean forward. Exhale, drop the hands. Lean the shoulders over wrists. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Lift the tailbone. Exhale, bend the left knee. Knee to nose. Inhale, left leg extends back. And exhale, balance. Right arm extends to the side. Inhale, hold the balance. And exhale, right hand onto the chair. Hold the extension. Inhale, slightly bend the right knee. Look back. Exhale, as you bend, take a huge step back. Drop the heel. Inhale, circle your left arm back and around. Slowly reach it up and over the ear. Exhale, well done. Look forward at the chair and drop your left hand down. Get ready to launch. Inhale, left leg up. Reach it back. Extension. Exhale, flex the foot and land it softly. Bend the knees. Inhale, stand up. Reach up. Well done. We're finished. Exhale, hands in prayer at your heart center. Make sure you catch your breath. Inhale. Coming to your ujjayi breath if you lost it. Two. Inhale. Stay here, facing your chair. My mom and I are just going to turn and face you. Three. Last one. And now exhale. Maybe you need to turn around as well and sit. So, especially now where your heart is racing, you want to calm down yourself before you pack up and continue on with your day. So normally, in, at the end of every yoga class, you come into Shavasana, which is your final resting pose, because you're trying to neutralize your breath and neutralize your body, dropping the temperature. So please take at least five minutes just to rest here, closing your eyes, we're coming back to where we started the practice, basically. Calming yourself down. You can even let go of your breath and let it come into a natural rhythm. So I'll leave you here. Thank you for joining us on the yoga mat today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this was a special yoga class that we decided to do for Mother's Day in Spain and for you English speakers. We hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos of how to do chair yoga, um, if you also have knee injuries or wrist injuries, we'll try and um, give you more classes that me and my mom can do together with you. 
So please like and comment on the video below. Otherwise, hope to see you again on the mat. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>